The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Gmail account and then go to your Google Drive by clicking the apps button up here and then your drive. Once your Google Drive comes up, you need to think about how you want to organize this resource hub. Would you like to put it by units that you're covering? Whatever you decide. Do you want to separate it by presentations, worksheets, rubrics? Your decision on how you want to work that. But what you will do to create your folder is go to New and then Folder. And then go ahead and name your folder. Um, and what we'll do is we can just call it Class Resources and then click on Create. This will create a folder for you. Now within this folder, if you need to set up more folders for per six weeks, or if you want to do it again, presentations, rubrics, worksheets, or handouts, however you want to do that, if you want to do it by the units that you're covering in class, whatever it might be, but you can create your subfolders right in here. So you would just add another folder, give it a name, um, and I'll just put unit one just to give an example of that. And then you can have that in there, another unit, another folder, unit two, however you want to do that. And then all you need to do is add your documents into each of these folders. So there are several different ways that you can do that. If they are already in your Google Drive, then what you'll want to do is you can just drag them and drop them by dragging it over to the side and find your class resources folder. And you can just drag it and drop it there. The file that you want to use, grab it, go to My Drive. You'll see how those folders open up right underneath it. We have class resources, so we put it there. And we'll say that this is unit one, so I'll drag it and we'll drop it in there. And then just drag and drop, and that's the easiest way to move it. You could also right click on here, and you could go move to, and then you could select where exactly you want it to go on here, and then um, and then just press OK. So you could do it that way. If your documents are on a an external device, or if they're saved on your computer, or if you have them on a flash drive, then the best thing to do is to go to your folder and open it up. So we're going to click on Unit 1, wherever we want to add this new document. And we'll go to New, and then you can do a file upload or folder upload, depending on what information you need to bring up. So if it's just one file that you're needing to bring up, you just click on it, and you can select where you want it to come from. If you have a flash drive, it'll be in here. If it's your S files, that will also be on here. If it is saved on your computer, you can grab it from there and then just select your document and then click open and it'll automatically upload it. You can also drag and drop the files into here. So just drag it and then it automatically uploads. And then it'll show up on there once you have uploaded it all in there. So several different ways you can move and organize your files. Um, if you ever need to go back, you have your breadcrumb trail right here. So you can always just click back and it'll take you back. Once you have organized your folder and have all of your documents in there the way you want your kids to see it. Now remember, you can always go back and add to this folder um, if ever you need to. So once you have it organized and set up, all you need to do right click on class resources and we're going to go to share and then we want to get the shareable link so this link right here so what it's saying is anyone at Northside with the link can view this folder all the documents that you have within that folder that you just created the class resource folder anyone can view it so click copy link and it says link copy to clipboard so we have it on there so we are all good so we're going to click Done, and then what we need to do is get to our Google Sites page. So you will click on your Apps Launcher button, go to Sites. So once you get into your Google Sites page, um, any site page that you've created will be listed on here. I'm just going to go ahead and go to Test 1 just to show you as an example. So right in here, what we want to do is we want to add a link 
on the side of here where we can connect to that Google Drive folder that we just created, to our Resource Hub folder. So what we need to do is click on the gear, scroll down, we want to edit site layout. And then what we're going to do is we are going to click over here in the navigation bar. We want to make sure we click right in here, click in that gray portion. And what we're going to do is add the URL. Remember that link that we copied earlier? That's what we're going to add here. So we are going to add our URL. And our text to display, I want to put an asterisk because I need to put a little note about this, which I'm going to talk to you about. So this is going to say class resources. And then the URL, we're going to right click and paste that link that we had copied from before. And we're going to click OK. So now we have it added on there. We're going to click OK because that's what we want. And then you're going to see right here it added the class resource folder. Now, I told you to put an asterisk before it. And the reason why is because we want to make sure that anyone that clicks on this class resource folder knows that they need to be logged into their Northside Gmail account because they will not be able to see it otherwise. Now, I want to warn you that parents, when they go on your web page and they click on this, they're going to request access. So, because that's what automatically comes up is a screen that says request access. Because our Northside accounts cannot be shared with anyone outside of Northside, unfortunately, we can't share it with the parents. We want to make sure that we put a note of that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here to the sidebar. And what we want to do is we want to add text to our site sidebar. So we're going to click Add. Now what happens, you didn't see it, but when we scroll down, you'll see that we have an added text box. So we're going to click in here in order to type in. And what we will do is we'll put the little asterisk sign. And then we need to type a little note that you must be logged into your Northside email address in order to access. And I would click OK. And then it's going to put it down here. We need to drag it up here, though, because I have this other text box going on here. So all I need to do is go up here, grab it, and I'm going to pull it up. Okay, now it went above, so let's go underneath. There we go. All right, and then we just need to hit the close button. It has the text underneath it, so that looks good. Now let's click on it and see what it looks like. So when I come over here and I click on this, when my students do this, they'll be able to see Unit 1 and Unit 2 and everything that I've posted inside. To make changes or updates to this folder, I no longer need to log into my, my Google Sites page. What I can do is I can do this straight from my Google Drive. So when I click over here to my Google Drive, if I want to add any files in here, say I want to put something into Unit 2, um, I could just drag and drop it in there. So let me see. Uh, let's say I want to put this in there. So I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to go to my class resources. I want to put it into Unit 2. I'm going to put it in there. It's going to ask me, you know, do I want to share it with the same people? I'm going to say OK. It's going to put it into there. So if I go back over here to my Google Sites page, now when I click on Classroom Resources and I go to Unit 2, the file is already updated for me. So I didn't have to go into Google Sites. It was all done quickly through Google Drive. Using the power of Google Drive, you're going to be able to get your information quickly to your students. It's going to be a lot easier for you to add documents and any other presentation materials that you want to give to your students. You'll be able to do that quickly and use with the resource hub.